Howdy guys. Okay, so in this lecture what we're going to do is we are going to get our main top network set up. All right, and we're also going to need a little bit of data. So we're going to need to export out our terrain layout that we just created inside of the Houdini engine with Unity. All right, so let's take a look at how all this is done. Okay, so here we have our terrain layout. Now I've gone through and just made a couple more edits, you know, just messed around with it from an artistic standpoint. And I think I've gotten it into a spot that I like. But the cool thing about this is it's all procedural, so we can always go back and iterate on it. So the other thing I've done is I actually went and add an export feature to the terrain layout. Now this export feature allows me to uh, specify a path. In this case, I'm pointing it to my project, okay? And I want to export out our terrain layout to a BGO file. All right, now a BGO file is a Houdini file format. All right, and it allows us to store all the attributes and groups and curves and all sorts of geometry. All right, so we're going to be using BGOs throughout uh, the majority of this uh, particular course. All right, so with that, I also promoted the Save to Disk button. So let's take a look at this here inside of Houdini. So I'm going to jump into the Terrain Layout HDA, go to the Export node. So this is new, okay? And inside of here, all I did was I added an Object Merge node, and I added a Rop Geometry node. And this allows me to um, export out the layout geometry to a BGO file. All right, so I just promoted this particular button right here by holding down Alt and middle mouse clicking. And the same with the output file. All right, so this is that path to the, the file. So you can see our HDA parameters up here has that button and has that output file. So when we go back into Unity here, what I can do is I can just hit Save Layout. And just like that, it is now saved. And we can verify that by going into our project that we're working in. And there is our terrain layout 001.bgo. All right, so now we have the geometry. Okay, so how do we get this into top? So let's focus on uh, going back into Houdini here and actually creating our official top network that's going to enable us to create large scale terrains. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to drop down a null node. All right, again, just like we did with the test tops HDA. So I'm going to create a null node and I'm going to create a new top network. All right. Cool. And then I'm just going to select both those guys, hit shift C on the keyboard to put them into a subnet. And this will become our main terrain top network or our, basically our complete level top network. So I'm going to call this our IP underscore level creation top. Cool. Uh, obviously you can name it anything you want. So let's go and save this as a digital asset here. All right, so I'm just going to lop off the clammy there and just capitalize these guys like I usually do. And this time around, I'm going to save this to our appropriate. So I'm going to go to my job folder, HDA. Remember, our job is our link to our actual project that we're working in. All right, so I don't want to save it to my home folder, which is the documents. All right, I'm going to set it to the job, go to HDA. And I'm going to save it right there. This way it, it all goes with the actual Houdini project. Hit accept. And there we go. So now we have our HDA created. So let's get rid of our default parameters there just by making them invisible. And let's create a new top node. Something we haven't seen before. So let's dive into our top net. All right. So we have our local scheduler. And remember that is our event manager. So this is basically you know, managing all of our events. All right, we're going to want to set up our working uh, directory as well. Okay, and the hip file for now will work. Uh, remember, we, we set up our aliases here inside of variables to the who environment path job, and that's looking basically at the same spot. All right, so we could always use that particular environment variable by typing in HEU, and there it is. So there's our environment path, our working directory. So the first node that we want to create is a file pattern node. Now this file pattern node allows us to go and get files. All right, so we can get files or directories. In this case, I want to get files. And our glob pattern basically is going to be a path to that terrain layout. And we want to be able to set that because it might change. We might want to pull in a terrain layout file from some other directory. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to actually promote this particular glob pattern right here okay and we want to promote that up to our 
HDA. So let's just do the Alt middle mouse click. There we go, and hit Apply. There we go. And now you can see it's set to this CHS pattern, and that's this property or parameter right here. And so what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this my terrain uh, layout, like so. We should probably give it a better name. Let's just call this uh, terrain underscore layout, like so. And the default currently is set to the PDG directory. Now this PDG, PDG directory is the same as our um, project path. Okay, so it's currently set to our project path, and I just want to empty it out. I'm going to apply. That way we can go back and assign it whatever we want. So if I were to jump back up, so I'm hitting you on the keyboard. All right, and I'm at the top level now, all right, of our HDA. I can go and find that terrain layout file. Remember, we put it inside of our project, so it's just in this geo folder. And there's our terrain layout. I'm going to hit accept. So now we're feeding in our terrain layout into our top network here into this file pattern, and if I were to go and cook this, so let's say cook selected node, look at that, we get one work item. And this work item, if I were to look at the info for it, it's output our terrain level 001 BGO. And if we were to actually click on this, it's actually gonna load this up in the geometry player for us. So we can actually look at our terrain layout that we made inside of Unity. How cool is that? Super cool. All right, so that is that first step. So what we want to do now, okay, is we want to start to introduce the HDA processor a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply, accept. And what I want to do is I want to take the results or the output here. Okay, so let's actually uh, turn on our PDG viz as well. So in here, you can see, remember, we're getting our output right here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is so with that on, and I'm going to jump back into my top network here. And I'm just going to click this little button, and you could see, if I were to turn off all the other objects, we're getting our terrain layout here inside the scene. So this is great. This really allows us to work back and forth between Unity and Houdini pretty seamlessly. All right, so we can see what we're doing. All right, very cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically drop down an HDA processor here. And this processor is going to... Um, project a height field. So we're going to project a height field onto our layout geometry. So we're going to take the output of this file pattern node and pass it into this HDA processor, like so. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to create the HDA processor that handles taking in this layout geometry and then projecting a height field onto it. Okay, so we're going to do that in the next video.